What is up guys, I'm Fabio and on this channel I help you become a better programmer so subscribe if you're interested. In this video I'm gonna show you how to install and start using Node.js in your machine. By the way you can support this channel and also get the source code of my videos using the link down in the description and thank you so much for the support. So what is Node.js also called just Node? Node is a JavaScript runtime environment that lets you run your JavaScript code outside the browser and this makes it suitable for a lot of things like writing server-side aka backend code using the same language that you use to write your client-side aka front-end code. It also has the npm package manager which is where you can find and manage dependencies of Node and it's also very used in front-end development to install packages easily especially if you use frameworks like Vue, React and so on. So to install Node just head to the nodejs.org website so let's open that all right so this here here you can just click the download button but if you need to download other versions you can go to the download tab here and here you can see different ways to install node this way here uses the fast node manager which is basically a tool that allows you to run multiple versions of node in the same machine okay and also switch between them easily but since this is a video for beginners Basically, let's just go ahead and download the pre-built installer here. Okay, of course, here you can select different things. And here, as you can see, you've got different versions, right? Because it might happen that you need to work with a version of a framework or package that only supports an older version. Okay, so here you can download the one you like. But let's go with the LTS version, okay, long-term support version. Okay, so let's download it. Okay, so I've downloaded it. Now I've got this. Let's open that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so this is basically what you're gonna see. So click next. Of course, accept the terms, whatever. If you want to read them, go ahead and do it. I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> All right, so this is the path. That's fine. Perfect. Here, Everything is already set up, but I just want to explain you one thing. The add to path is really important because basically it allows you to use node directly from the terminal, from the command prompt. So let's say that, for example, here, now that I don't have it installed, if I run node, this doesn't work, right? But if I have it installed and I don't add it to the path environment variable, this wouldn't work. Okay, so let's say that now I've got it installed, I run it and this would happen anyway, right? So that is really, really important that this is basically active, okay? Because here you can disable it or whatever. Okay, so let's click next. So here I would keep this unticked because it's not essential and also adds a lot of things that you probably will never use. It's better to just leave it unticked and then if you need something in the future, then just install it later on. So I'm just gonna leave it unticked. So click next and here, let's install it. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's wait a little bit. All right, so now Node.js is installed in this machine, which is pretty cool. Let's click finish. Okay, so now if I open the one prompt and I run node version as you can see we get something so that means that everything is set up properly and if you do something like that here you can do whatever so const x equals string right then const.log x string and whatever okay so you can do whatever you want here if you're familiar with Python, for example, this is sort of the same. It feels the same. And of course, a better thing to do is to run actual JS files. By the way, just a quick reminder, you can support the channel and also get the source code of my videos using the link down in the description. So let's actually go here. I've got this folder here. I'm just gonna open it, okay? And here, I'm just gonna add main.js like that. And here you can do whatever you want. So console, log and then here you can write hello something like that and then you can also there's a for loops let's do this mm, that's fine just just change this to 
let's say 10 all right and here let's uh, you know just console.log and then the index you know something like that right i actually like the semicolons right so now as you would do with the python file you're going to do the same thing okay so you're going to do something like node me so yes and you run it hello zero one two three four five etc etc so as you can see you're running the js file outside the browser directly in your terminal which is pretty pretty cool then of course really, really important along with node the npm which is the node package manager was installed okay and added to the path environment variable uh, so now we can actually access it from here so as you can see if you do that you get the npm version 10.8.2 so that means that npm is installed correctly. So let's quickly see an example about how you can use and install a package. Okay. So first of all, let's start a node project using npm init. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. As you can see, you can give it a name. So let's call it, let's actually leave everything like that. That's fine. All right. Perfect. So now this here, is a node project okay now that this is a project basically a node project you can install whatever package you want so npm let's install i don't know math.js something like that as you can see the node modules folder has been added and now we've got the math.js package installed as you can see here you've got all the node modules that you need and inside the package.json, you can see dependency math.js. Okay, so now that we've got the math.js package installed, you can, of course, use it in your main.js file. So let's actually delete everything. And first of all, you need to import, let's say square from math.js. Okay, square, if you hold down the control key and left click you can see that you're inside the math.js module and you've got a lot of things you can actually use okay i'm just importing square because i'm gonna use just square really important before we run this we need to go to the packets.json here and wherever let's do this here we need to do something like type module okay Otherwise, this syntax is not going to work. You need to use the require, etc., etc. But I want to use this syntax here. So you need to write type module. Let's save it. And now, as I said, you can use this. So console.log. And then you can do something like square, which is the one that we've just imported. And then let's say three. Okay, so if you run that, so node main.js like that nine so this is working so we've just imported and installed the math.js package and you can then use it you can find a lot of other packages in the npm website okay so if you search for math.js you can see you've got this which is the one that we've just installed right so this one is the one that We've just installed the math.js package. Okay, so now you've got Node installed. As usual, check out the links in the description. Like the video if it was helpful and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.